this is really uh, extraordinary to be here. It's my first time uh, as a Google employee at Zeitgeist. Uh, the session that we're moderating today uh, and featuring today looks at radicalization, which I believe is really one of the most important unanswered challenges that we face in the world. It's the challenge that makes everything else in the world that much more dangerous. Now, yet too often, we allow uh, what we see on the surface, what the media tells us, what we read about online and in the newspaper to dictate how we think about and act on this very important challenge. 52% of the world is under the age of 30. The vast majority of those young people are at risk, either socially, economically, or both. Yet, these young people think the best alternative that they have in life. There's this oversupply of young people who feel that the best alternative they have is to throw themselves at the feet of whatever violent extremist is closest to them, either in terms of proximity or identity. Today, we're going to try to redefine this and rethink this uh, by looking across four contexts, uh, the gang context, the religious extremist context, the nationalist context, and the right-wing extremist context, uh, to try to remove those masks of extremism, ideology, religion, identity, to really get to the bottom of what draws a young person into an extremist group and into a violent extremist group. 